for many, the insurgency in northeast Nigeria is just a case of the chickens coming home to roost. Whatever your thoughts are, the constant onslaught by insurgents causing death and destruction over a region which in 2011 contained 13.5% of the country and a third of its total area has been a thorn in the flesh of successive governments since the bombs first went off in July of 2009. In the eye of the storm right now is the governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Zulu. The third governor to deal with insurgency in the state was hit by the terrorists. His convoy was attacked on July the 29th, 2020, around the Baga area causing a back and forth between the governor and the military as to who orchestrated the ambush. The governors in the Northeast decided to make him the chairman of the Northeast Governors Forum to push for more aid from the government in this war on terrorism. The forum commenced the effort of the federal government of Nigeria in fighting the insurgency. However, the armed forces should intensify effort to secure hard to reach areas in the region and ensure safe access to farmlands. Next stop for the governors is a meeting with the president and all the security chiefs in the country. The Buhari administration ran on three principles, fighting corruption, growing the economy and security. And for the president, security has always been at the top of that list. I assure you, uh, no CEC governors, especially the governor of Borno, that uh, we go to bed and we wake up thinking about you and how to secure our country because that is the fundamental responsibility of a government, security. The general report I'm getting other than the conventional one from the intelligence sources is that the army should do better. And this is the truth. When it comes to insurgency, it's never as simple as just fighting the terrorists. It's a hydra-headed problem, and the Borno state governor believes there are remote issues that must be solved in the region for any actual gains to be made against this insurgency. People need to go back to their farmlands. People need to be resettled in their original homes so that they can start their means of livelihood. This is one of the reasons why uh, the insurgency, insurgents are recruiting more into the sex. For the governors of the Northeast, these efforts to uplift their people in the height of an insurgency and a pandemic may be coming late, and it must serve as a cautionary tale for governors all over the country. Kayla Nagua, Channels Television News.